Hello, champions. It's great to have you in another exciting class. And we shall be learning an interesting topic known as relationship between living things. So in this lesson, we shall find out how some living things are connected with one another. But first, it is important to note that living things need one another to be able to survive in their habitat. As we all know, some plant animals such as goats need plants to be able to survive, while some other animals like the lion depend on the goats to survive. So in this case study, we shall be looking at the polar bears and its relationship with other living things. The polar bears are known as animals that stay in the Arctic region. They have falls on their body to keep them warm and they have large paws so they can walk on snow. They feed on animals like the seals. These animals called seals are web-footed animals that can swim. And they are also carnivorous animals that feed on fishes in the sea, such as the ermine and the cod fish. These fishes, in turn, feed on crustaceans. Crustaceans examples are the lobster, the shrimp, the prawns, the krill, as well as the crabs. The crabs, in turn, feed on plants such as the algae and the plankton. So, we can see that each living thing are interconnected with one another. This means without the algae, there will be no crab. Without the crab, there will be no fish. Without the fishes, there will be no seal. And without the seals, there will be no polar bears. So, next we shall be looking at is the adaptations of living things. How can living things survive in the environment? Adaptations are the characteristics or the behaviors which help each living thing to be able to survive in their environment. For example, as we already know, cactus plants are plants which stays or grows in the desert. They are able to survive in the desert region because they grow spines to store water. Camel is an, an example of animal that live in the desert. It has a large hump which helps it to store fat and so help it to save water. And animals such as cheetah are able to survive in the habitat by having great speed so they can catch their prey. Animals like skunks release powerful order to scare away predators. Hedgehog has spines all over its body to protect it from all other animals and it also helps to keep it safe when it falls from a tree. What about animals in the grassland? These animals have flat teeth to eat grasses and the smaller animals are able to dig burrows where they hide easily. What about the animals in the forest region? Some of them are able to eat extra food to survive for the winter, and some are able to abandon that is go through a deep sleep during winter. What about the animals and plants in the tundra? For plants in the tundra, they are usually shrubs and mosses. They grow very close to the, they are very close to the ground to keep them from getting freeze. And animals such as the polar bear are able to survive in the cold region, tundra region, by having white falls that have to keep them warm. Our, our, um, the pocket gophers have large front teeth and sharp claws that help to protect them. And animals 
In the grassland region, examples are elephant zebra. They usually have large teeth to help them chew grasses. Insects eating animals are also able to live in the burrows. So that's all for some animals and their different ways of survival. See you in the next.